Hello. It is so cool to talk to you both today. The film is amazing. I enjoyed it so much. You Thank know, you. the question I have is it's, it's such a well-told story. The conversations are so well-crafted, especially some of, some of the back and forth between them is amazing. Uh, but what inspired the overall story and the sense of comedy that you've woven in there too? Yeah, the story came from a lot of different places. We actually, you know, we made the movie originally as a short film. And so the short film was, the short film was, was that, that, uh, that scene at the end of act one, where, you know, it's the sort of Goldilocks and the three bears situation where they, they, three bears find Goldilocks in their house and they have to decide what do we do? Do we call 911 or what do we do? Um, and it, it's inspired by a, a true story, actually, sort of inspired, not based on really. Um, but it, it, a friend of mine found kind of found, found a Goldilocks in his house and, and had and decided he was going to be a good Samaritan and try to take her home. And then she passed out in his car and he's like, I have, I am a brown man with a, an unconscious white woman stranger in my car and this doesn't look good and he's driving he's driving through a part of town where cops are like kind of notorious for pulling people over for just no reason really um so yeah i mean it, it's the question of like when you are a person of color in america you have this burden of having to anticipate like how am i being perceived how does this situation look do i look like a threat right now is there anything i can do to mitigate looking like a threat and often the answer is no um and yeah yeah my family is mexican-american i'm from los angeles this is a conversation that like my family members have all the time um and that was something we we wanted to we wanted to dramatize in this movie but also you know it's a story about a friendship too it's a it's a it's it's an opportunity to, to deconstruct college party comedy tropes but also you know really tell an emotionally vulnerable story like it was important to both of us that it felt it that we weren't going to be cynical and like sarcastic about this that we were going to address it and take it seriously and actually like sit in their emotions yeah yeah well, in terms of direction you know working with this script and then these these amazing guys who just they it feels like they just run with this story uh what what did they bring to it for you as a director and, and how did you work with them on this Yes. Uh, so they, they brought, they, we had conversations before we shot, um, you know, in addition to like a couple of rehearsals, but we talked about the characters, you know, who, who they thought the characters were. I, I do this thing where I, I create mixtapes uh, and playlists and share it with everyone, uh, just like wavelength style um, for everybody to kind of know what I'm thinking. And I just like making mixtapes because I'm a music head. But um, I asked uh, RJ and Donald to give me mixtapes back of who, what you think uh, they listen to. And, you know, like that informs me uh, into how they are thinking about the character. And Donald did this thing, too, where he like had stuff that was on his mixtape that he felt Sean listened to that he because <laughs> he looks up to Sean. You know what I mean? So it's like this mixture of like some you know things that don't quite match up but it's like because of the influence so um they brought they brought so much to these roles like they really like did their their work and they there's bits of both of these characters in them you know um and they brought that uh to to the roles and and I a lot of times just got out of their way you know when we're shooting because they knew what movie we were making. They kept it very grounded. They understood the stakes of it all. And they just also had such great chemistry that it was just very, um, very kind of easy, you know, um, to just watch the magic that they were creating and just, you know, be there when there was any shaping that needed to be done, but like not get in the way of the, the beauty that they were creating for us on the set. Well, it's amazing. It, it congratulations on the whole film it, it's a fantastic story and they're amazing in it too so yeah. thank you very much for the time thank you thank man you.